All right, now we're going to be putting together sort of what we um, have been learning and, and doing several different um, domains and composites here. So first of all, for part A, we're going to be finding the f of g of x. So using my new notation, f of g of x, and I'll do this in color so we can see how that works. The g of x is actually x squared plus 4. That's the, the functions that they've defined for us here. So now this says to evaluate the f function for x squared plus 4. Well, our f function is right here. It says the variable plus 1. So the variable plus 1. But we're using x squared plus 4 as our new variable. Now we need to clean this up, simplify it. So x squared plus 4 plus 1 would be x squared plus 5. This is my composite function. The domain here well, looking at this, um, I'm not even going to write that real quick there. Um, looking at this function, this is a polynomial function. So its domain is all real numbers. But don't forget to check the inside function also. This one is a polynomial function. So its domain is also all real numbers. There are no problems in these domains any real number will work. Okay, now let's do part B. Part B says the G of F. I want to go ahead and do this one. So let me write my new notation. And now we're still working with the same functions. So our F of X is X plus 1. So I'm going to replace that. And now we're evaluating the g function for the new and improved x value of x plus 1. Well, the g function they've defined for us that says the variable squared plus 4. So we're going to take and square our variable and add 4. But we're using x plus 1. So now we need to simplify. Now looking at this, it is very tempting to say that is x squared plus 1, but that is not true. Remember what it means to square something. It means to write it out and multiply it to itself. So this tells us we're going to have to distribute and then simplify. So we'll have x times x would be x squared um, plus x plus x would be plus 2x and then 1 times 1 would be plus 1 and then plus 4. So continuing to simplify we'd have x squared plus 2x plus 5. This would be our composition function. Now as far as the domain again this is a polynomial function so our domain is all real numbers but don't forget to check the inside the inside function is also a polynomial. So again, our domain is all real numbers.